Have you ever heard of a wish sandwich? A wish sandwich is the kind of a sandwich where you have two slices of bread and you <laughs> wish you had some meatball. Ball, ball. is planned. The other thing, and I, somebody was talking to me in the hall this morning, actually a few of you were talking to me in the hall this morning, talking about the breakouts and the, the specific sessions we're going to run through, this, that, and the other thing, five minutes here, 20 minutes there, half hour here, 10 minutes there. Do you really think we can cover everything we need to in that 10 minutes, that 40 minutes? So I said, you think an hour's enough? I said, I don't think a day's enough. I don't think the weekend's enough. You all as officers, all of your officers in this organization have a pretty important job. Our job is to make sure your job is easier. We can't give you all the tools. We can't answer every possible question you're going to have over the next year in six, eight hours here today. Won't happen. What we can do is provide you an excellent reference resource. Uh, the guidebook has been recently updated. This is literally hot off the press. Uh, we just got them in two days ago, so this is now, what edition are we? Our 17th edition that we're in. Anytime we find something that works, we keep it in here. We find a way to improve it. We add that. If we find something that doesn't work, we delete it. So this is good stuff. This is an important tool for you. Stuff you don't even know you need to know today. You can't ask the question because you don't know. Next week, next month, when you have an event, when you have a meeting, what do I do? Get in the guidebook. So we wanted to make a big deal out of how important this thing is. This is a very valuable tool for you. Use it. Use it. Look in here. If you have a question beyond that, Use this network of people that are here to help you. Uh, experienced reps, experienced directors that have been doing this for five or six years. Call the state office, talk to program directors. Get the help you need. Find out the information you need. But the guidebook's a great place to start. I want to talk to you briefly in the state of the organization about some of the things we're doing uh, that we should be very proud of. And then Gina Johnson's going to come up and talk to you about the fiscal or financial health of the organization. We are fortunate that we've got some great partnerships, and you're going to hear from a lot of those folks today. Some of them are set up in the hall, you see a lot of them on the agenda formally, uh, but a lot of them uh, are relationships that won't actually be brought to the, the table today uh, with a presentation as far as a speaker. We'll talk about them, especially in the breakouts. When we talk about the, uh, the county reps and the directors, we'll let you know who these people are because you can use them as a resource tool, tool as well. The uh, American Legion. Do any of you know that the National Headquarters of the American Legion is in Indianapolis, Indiana? You know that? Yeah. I didn't know that until this year. Well, if you're a legionnaire. You know, you know, well, and you should know that. I didn't know that until this year. You know how I found out? They needed somebody to train. They do this ride, a national ride every summer. They needed somebody to train their road captains in motorcycle safety. Guess who they called? A beta in Indiana. The uh, Indiana State Fair went to three weeks this year. Everybody know that? They added a little time to get three weekends in. So they're looking for special activities, things that, that could be done and done well. They decided they wanted to have a motorcycle day. Who did they call? The Bay of Indiana Presents Motorcycle Day at the Indiana State Fair. That's big time. I don't know if you know it or not, but that's big stuff. Purdue University spends $100,000 to have Purdue Day at the State Fair. We paid a little less than that. <laughs> We didn't pay anything. You know us better than that. Indiana University did not have a day at the state fair this year because they didn't have it in their budget. So we got all the mess without the expense, or all the fun without the mess or the expense. We don't want the mess, do we, Mohegan? That would be wrong, wouldn't it? We got all the fun without the mess. Um, I mean, it just continues. You're going to hear later from uh, Bart McAtee from the Indianapolis uh, Metropolitan Police Department some things we do with them in regards to the MotoGP. Motorcycles on Meridian, where we take downtown and basically block off the main drag from downtown Indianapolis, shut it down for motorcycles only, that's pretty cool. And we're there. The MotoGP itself. I mean, anything that has to do with motorcycling in this state, 
The state of Indiana is going to be there. They look to us as the authority, and they should. Why? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's a little ring. Why? We're the best. Thank you. If you play along, this will go much better for all of us. <laughs> We need to continue. And with that comes responsibility. One of the other things we're going to continue to talk about throughout the day, responsibility, self-responsibility, right of responsibility. We don't like it, but some of the reasons for some of the stuff coming down right now, on the federal level and the state level, it's our fault. And Rizotter's going to talk a little bit about that later from the American Motorcyclist Association. But some of it's our fault. Why are we such a target now for law enforcement? Why are they pulling us over for this stuff? Why? Because we had a number of years with increased fatalities, okay? When motorcycle fatalities and crashes are going up, meanwhile, car fatalities continue to drop. Part of it a couple years ago was related to $4 a gallon gas. We had more, they had less. That drove numbers both ways. The other is the way they're building the cars now. The, the federal government has decided that Americans are terrible drivers, and they aren't going to fix that. So they're going to put a Band-Aid on it by making safer crashing. And they've, they've been pretty successful with airbags and crumble zones. People are surviving automobile crashes now that they wouldn't have 20 years ago. Automobile has automobile industry, transportation, has gotten safer. Uh, guardrails and barriers are, are ex, uh, accept far more impact now. All of that, highway design, automobile design, all of that is for safer crashing. We don't really fit that mold. Safer.